We spoke to the creator of the brand new Apple TV Plus series, The Big Door Prize, David West Reed. Check it out. Let me tell you what I love about your show. The ensemble that you've assembled is so very good. And the stories that you tell are so very good that I often forget about the intrigue and the mystery of the Morpho, <laughs> which I think a lesser show would have me obsessed with, <laughs> that I forget everything else, right? And I was wondering if you could talk to me about how you decided to construct this series and striking that balance not to let this boxy blue thing get in the way. I, I'm really glad to hear you say that. That's exactly how I wanted this, to build the show, that we kind of draw people in with the mystery of this machine. And then hopefully that mystery recedes to the background as we become more invested in what people are doing as a result of the machine. Because I like the light sci-fi element, this light magical mystery around the edges. But my favorite stuff is the character stuff and the relationship stuff and the things that feel universal and relatable to everyone, even if we don't have a Morpho machine in our actual world. Yeah, your show gave me something of a mini existential crisis, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, tell me this, and this, is, this might be a little bit inside baseball, but I was curious as to uh, when you're crafting a show like this, especially when it's based on a novel, uh, about the changes that you decided to make. And I was curious about simple things like changing the name of the machine, for example. And what was the thought process behind that? Um, well, ch changing the name of the machine, um, you know, I love the book and, and books exists and is preserved forever, but we necessarily had to expand the, the world of the show. Um, the book has an ending and an answer. And, you right. know, if we had that, we would be over <laughs> very quickly. So, um, well, I was going to say your show is incredibly <laughs> frustrating because it ends. I'm really, there needs to be a season two. If not, I'm just going to be pissed. I, well, I hope so. Uh, but I, I, I think, <laughs> you know, in building the mythology of the machine, we wanted to also build the mystery of what the Morpho machine could be. I love the butterfly because it's so rich as a symbol. It means so many different things. Yeah. You know, you could talk about the butterfly effect. You could talk about butterflies being seen as granters of wishes. Um, I also just like that the blue Morpho butterfly itself is an illusion that it has this incredibly vibrant blue color Bit, but it's all about how the butterfly's wings are catching the light. It's not actually that color. And this machine, yeah. we're wondering, is this real or not? Is, this, is, is what it's telling us valid or do we just want to believe it because we like what it does to us as a result? Also, the butterfly effect of yes. having everyone in the town go kind of crazy. Um, yes. Talk to me about the tone of the series because I was getting Good Place vibes, some Twilight Zone even a little Northern exposure. <laughs> and I was wondering if those were points of reference at all in building out Deerfield. Yeah, I mean, I've definitely seen all of those shows. I think it is, we're trying to strike a tone that's unlike anything else. So it pulls from a lot of different places. I'm drawn to light sci-fi where there's just one element that's slightly different from our world. And uh, it allows us to tell these really human stories. So, you know, some of the great Twilight Zone episodes are like that. Um, I like, you know, early Steven Spielberg movies uh, that have so much warmth and heart uh, in a sci-fi context. I, I feel like this is in some ways like a comedic version of The Leftovers uh, about a, oh, nice. a yes. seismic event that affects an entire town forever. But so, the, you know, there are a lot of different places we're pulling from um, uh, tonally uh, to create this weird mixture that is the big door prize. And I mean that in the best way possible, because the, the show doesn't come off as derivative at all. It feels very much like its own thing. And it, it's an absolute delight. And I, I enjoyed it very, very much. So thank you for that. Thank you. What about you, Mr. Hubbard? What are you going to be? Don't forget to watch The Big Door Prize on Apple TV+. Plus. It's really quite good. Don't forget to let us know what you think in the comments. Also, do the needful. Like, follow, subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your family. Yeah, all of that stuff. You know what to do. <laughs>